Hey guys, uh, Lord Commander Guts here. Uh, I wanted to talk about Halo TV series, and I wanted to do an actual outline, uh, or rather rewrite, of the outline for the Halo series. Now, I know a lot of you are pretty big Halo fans. I, myself, actually grew up on Halo, and I love Halo and its lore and all of the other books that kind of, you know, encompassed the, the world and kind of gave us our little anthologies and into the realm of Halo. Um, I was a little disappointed, as many of you probably were as well, and this is my rewrite. If uh, if you actually enjoyed the show, then this is definitely not for you. <laughs> so we're here to talk about Halo, the outline. And for my outline, I wanted to kind of rewrite this pitch. Essentially, we're gonna we're not going to change the universe or dimension or whatever, whatever 343 decided to go with. In fact, we're just going to stick with the game lore as is, and we're going to actually start from Halo 1. Um, now, the first episode that I pitch here is actually not on Halo or the Pillar of Autumn, but on Reach itself. And from there, we'll kind of pitch out and see uh, kind of the other stuff that we have to offer. I mean, yeah, the Halo series had a few things to offer that uh, the game didn't have. And it's going to be kind of hard to kind of translate into the show. But I think there was uh, some pretty cool things to see in the Haloverse, uh, especially with like Forward Unto Dawn. Now, I think that was a... Uh, a great way to introduce Halo, even though that was kind of bridging Halo 4 with a lot of the new stuff that was coming in. Forward Onto Dawn, I think, did an amazing job because Master Chief wasn't the main character. And now for my uh, pitch, I'd say that Master Chief will be a character, but he will not be main cast. You'll see him on and off throughout all the episodes. So for episode one, we focus on Master Chief and a few other things on Reach. Uh, as well as Noble Team from, you know, Halo Reach. If you guys have seen uh, or played Halo Reach, uh, you'll know the Noble Team. Um, kind of at least the the final Noble Noble Six to hand off Cortana to Captain Keys. We're in the middle of a big battle. The episode 1 right into a Covenant, our attack in Reach. We're doing everything we can to try and get Cortana off the world and into the hands of uh, uh, Captain Keys into the Pillar of Autumn to later on pass on to Master Chief. So episode one is just dealing with kind of the fallout of Noble Team's successful mission, even though they've completely uh, been wrecked uh, <laughs> in holding off pretty much an armada of Covenant. And then we go into the escape of the Pillar of Autumn. And that will essentially be the first episode. It's just a giant battle for throughout the first episode. And we introduce the main cast. And now here's my pitch for cast. Now, I know uh, we do want Sergeant uh, Johnson in this at some point. Um, I know eventually his his rank does become a gunnery sergeant, but um, I would love to see him as more of a main role rather than main cast, so he'll be more common. Um, Captain Keys, probably as much of, of a cameo as Master Chief throughout the series for season one on this rewrite. And then for episode two, we go straight into Halo. Uh, Pillar of Autumn escapes barely uh, into what we now know as the region of Halo. Uh, so now we leave the Halo Reach uh, story behind and we, you know, the Amara is just destroying Reach. So we kind of maybe take a glimpse of it at the beginning of uh, episode two. And then uh, the main episode two will go straight into the first mission of Halo. Now I'm going to show a little bit of the the mission uh, missions that we have here. So of, of course, in the first mission, we'll have the Pillar of Autumn and then kind of go into Halo where we crash the Pillar of Autumn onto the Halo. They kind of realize the Halo is there and they don't know what it is, but they need to kind of investigate it. So they decide to crash land Pillar of Autumn. And if you play the game, you'll obviously be familiar with all these missions here. So the first, the second mission, uh, sorry, mission, not mission, uh, second uh, episode will be based on Pillar of Autumn and Halo. And then you'll see Master Chief on the Halo ring kind of helping out with the human forces kind of re regrouping and, uh, trying to assemble and then that's when you'll really meet the full uh, cast is on the pillar of autumn when they're you have the main marines kind of fighting off the covenant forces and then they kind of jump ship to get off and then I, th I feel like we can actually go back and forth through a few cast members maybe some of the officers that kind of hang back with captain keys at the beginning and then regroup once you know once the actual pillar of autumn actually is set onto halo uh, of course the whole officer team with captain keys is captured on halo and then in Truth Reconciliation, we go to uh, free uh, Captain Keys. Now, I do want to kind of set like a maybe like a side uh, episode. So episode three will be kind of 
the Marines kind of go off and do their own thing. Uh, and, and if you ever read the books, uh, First Strike, you'll kind of see that the Marines do actually do their own thing. Uh, here, I'll show a quick uh, picture. First Strike's actually a really good novel, um, showing showing what the Marines and other Marines do while uh, Master Chief is doing his missions. And uh, obviously, we t also take into account the the Flood, which is the second novel right after First Strike. And in this one, we see kind of more into the Flood, but uh, that's more in the later episodes. Uh, oops, sorry, wrong image. Uh, we'll just go right back here. And then essentially, the next episodes will be kind of combining uh, the Silent Cartographer and Assault in the Control Room will be right around the same area, just because Master Chief is kind of doing his own thing. But we do want to get with the Marines to kind of show what's going on in those uh, missions. And we kind of investigate Halo as it is. And we do want to kind of go back and forth between the Marines and Master Chief. Um, not necessarily as Master Chief as the main character, but kind of having come in to the main story to kind of um, carry on with what's going on in Halo the game and kind of merge it with the show. Uh, 343 Guilty Spark would be the introduction of Flood. And that would be about episode five i'd say episode five and I, I do want this to be about 10 episodes if we can make it if not eight i think would be just about right um so three four three guilty spark to library i think could make a pretty good episode maybe even two uh three four three we can focus on the marines uh jenkins and all them mendoza as well um that'd be a very very horror-esque uh, episode and then we can finish with library where master chief kind of comes out of the library and while we're while master chief's dealing with the library and the flood as well as the uh the sentinels uh, we have other marines kind of holding off the flood the first wave of flood in their defensive tactics in the books and uh we go into the two betrayals would be uh the covenant dealing with the um the flood as well there and into the keys keys so these two will be good and then maw can be its own episode which that would essentially be let's see easy one two three uh i'd say four here and then five six seven and then obviously halo uh reach would be one and then kind of an epilogue so right right around episode nine would be escape so the maw and then to episode 10 to escape we can split them on to kind of a bigger and we can have like a episode 9 obviously the most famous warthog run and we just jump right into that uh now just into the maw and the epilogue if you guys have read first strike or the flood you'll kind of get a little bit more details into um the world of the flood and the covenant and what happened behind the scenes while master chief was doing his missions and we kind of incorporate that into uh the halo series now Master Chief, I don't really care about the whole helmet, you know, kind of coming off or any any of that for for that matter. Just I, I really just enjoy um, the game in general and the lore for what it was. Um, if we did want to kind of take off his helmet, we could and see maybe see the back of his head or same thing as in the end of the Maw in Halo, where we see his helmet come off and you know we don't really see his face because we zoom out into the ship. But we see kind of like uh, in the epilogue, maybe Master Chief coming together with, uh, you know, Sergeant Johnson and making it back. So I don't know if, if you guys haven't seen it. Well, this next part will be a spoiler. Um, if you've read the books, then you know. And this is your last warning for spoilers. So click out if you haven't read the books or or if you don't care, then stick around. So essentially what happens is uh, you have the survivors of Halo uh, move out and eventually run into a human settlement that is non-UNSC affiliated affiliated sorry and they are kind of more of a rebel forces that they kind of um not necessarily recruit help from but recruit the next step to get back to earth and eventually the covenant catch up to them and the humans run and this whole settlement this whole uh colony is just wiped out by the covenant while you know the humans escape and you know they do their little blind jumps and they eventually get back to earth which is how Halo 2 starts. And that would be essentially for the second season. Now, I really like the idea of following the game because we don't need to actually have Master Chief as the main character. Um, that is a huge flaw, I think, in the original series is they they didn't know how to make the Master Chief into a TV series character. And I think that's the problem is you really focus too much on Master Chief when we already know Master Chief. What we want to know is all the other stuff, the people who are helping him, the people that... You know are making this happen uh you know even, even little bits of of the other ai other ships that are happening 
or I say happening, but other ships that are, you know, working congruently with Master Chief in the Pillar of Autumn or other ships in the UNSC for that matter. Uh, we don't need any of this UN, uh, Covenant human storyline. That that was kind of odd, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, stick to the main characters. And it's essentially, you have plenty of people to kind of back, go back and forth from. And then introduce new characters that maybe played a role within the background of Halo. Because in Halo, the only characters you really know are Master Chief, Cortana, Sergeant Johnson, Captain Keys. As well as Fullhammer, which it would be nice to see Fullhammer you know, as an actress and kind of have her own role and her own duties in the TV series for season one. Even Captain Keys having, you know, you know a last stand, that would be pretty cool to introduce as well, uh, just to see all that kind of take place. And then from season two, we can introduce even more characters. We don't have to just stick with Marines. We don't have to stick with, you know, Pelicans. We can actually go for uh, any civilians that kind of get in involved with uh, Halo 2, the, the assault on Mombasa and other ships as well. I mean, we'll, we'll we'll go into that for season two, but uh, for for right now, this is the rewrite for Outline uh, Halo the series. Uh, and let me know what you guys think. Now, I think that's pretty much that pretty much covers everything. Um, we'd have the flood at at some point, and three four three Guilty Spark will be a big uh, role, and you'll you'll have the flood, you'll have the Sentinels Covenant, and even the Arbiter. I feel should make an entrance in some of the later episodes, if not the middle middle to late and then at the end we can kind of see him kind of leaving to uh go to and speak with the uh prophets and we'll leave it at that and then second season we'll pick off right where halo 2 starts uh and uh yeah just let me know what you guys think uh, how would you guys change the halo series and do you like my suggestions if not leave me uh, some comments and we'll get to it all right guys thank you so much this is uh, lord commander guts aka mike g signing off